Tesco. Share the goodness. Now, when it comes to making sweet treats, I think most people think of the uh, conventional kind of ingredients. You have your chocolate chips, the sweet kind of stuff. But what if you try and make it different like we did a couple of weeks ago? We made a chocolate pumpkin recipe. And that was so, so crazy, but so delicious as well. Now, today with Oistumi, we're going to be making courgette choc chip cookies. Now, very weird. Um, it's not that weird. I mean, uh, it's always nice just trying out, you know, different recipes and so forth. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think today... We've got something totally different. Definitely. These courgettes, that we, I think most people know them as baby, baby marrows. Baby marrows, yes, that's correct. Lovely greens is in, our, in our cookies. Okay, so what are, what are the rest of the ingredients? We've got Sasco flour. Yes, but firstly you have to obviously cream your butter mm -hmm. and brown sugar. All right. Together with custard sugar, like I've already done here. Okay. And then quickly add your vanilla essence. All righty. So you have your brown sugar and caster sugar yes. along with your butter at room yes. temperature that you Yeah, and you have to basically cream it until it's very nice and pale. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then put that aside. And then what we need to do is um, quickly whisk, uh, I mean, add, yeah, sift your flour. Yes. Ours luckily has already been sifted. Thank you, Zola. <laughs> and then add a pinch of salt. Yes. To that. Mm -hmm. uh, your cocoa powder. Uh-huh. Your baking powder. Yes. And bicarbonate of soda. Yes. Together with you. You can use oat bran or you can use oats. All right. So any of them would actually do. Okay. And quickly mix it together. I want to pack these away for you in the meantime. All right. Okay. Okay, and Go. then you can quickly set this aside. And then... So you just bake that very quickly. That yeah, was, that was just, very quick. That I missed it. That was very it. quick, yeah. You can just quickly <laughs> just put that aside. And then what we need to do is now, we need to be very careful because our courgettes or baby marrow have lots of water. Yes. So you just need to squeeze out the water, but this has, has already been squeezed out. Yes. So that um, your, bisc your biscuits don't have a lot of... Um, Moisture in them. Yeah, in yeah. them. I know that uh, so we usually kind move. of take those after you. That's grated, right? They've kind of been yeah. grated and then you put them in a, in a, in a, it's in a dishcloth. A yes. clean one, a clean one, and then you yes. squeeze all the moisture out of there. Yeah, or muslin cloth. All right, cool. What you can also do is you can use um, your small um, grater. Yes. You know the small holes? The yes. one with the small the holes? Yes, the very, very yeah. small ones. Okay. You can also use that. Lovely stuff. Okay, and then you Work in add there. yeah, your flour mixture. Okay, there you go. Into... And if you just missed all of those ingredients, just SMS the word SASCO to 33728 and we'll send them right to your mobile phone. Okay, so you kind of, okay. yet again, the folding. Folding yes. is like the basics of all baking. If you can't fold, you can't bake. You've got to learn what she's doing here. You know? It's an art. <laughs> it's an art. Work it, it in is. there. Uh -huh. And I, I, usually, okay. usually at this stage, I get a bit scared because it seems a, a bit dry. Yeah, it has to be dry. It has to be stiff. And then add your chocolate chips. Uh -huh. And then... Chip. <laughs> uh -huh. And then you can also add your pecan nuts, walnuts. These are very optional. It's okay. up to you. Um, if you really want them. And then you have to basically... Kind of just work it in Yeah, there. work it in until it's nice and soft. Man, you, you chefs work hard, I must say. This is not... I mean, you look have at to the, work on the muscles. The work is going into that. <laughs> could, you use, could you do this in a mixer, though? Could you mix this um, in a mixer? Yes, you, have to, you, can, you can do that. Yes. Um, obviously, it will go quicker. Yes. And if you've just joined us, we are giving away a very, very cool Sasco hamper that consists of a Kenwood K-Mix mixer, uh, a lot of Sasco flour goodies. There's a Sasco flour baking uh, book recipe. There's a, an, an apron like the one that I'm wearing. And all of this to the value of 4,500 Rand and including a Carol Boy sugar spoon. I can't forget that. Very nice to have one of those in your collection. Uh, all you have to do is uh, SMS the keyword Sasco, your name and your city, to 33728. Now, see, I see all you're doing is kind of just scooping it and plonking it there. Bloop. Yes. Little that's balls exactly, like that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And um, you know the best thing is, um, mm -hmm. Sasco Flower has developed a whole range of deliciously, um, delicious different um, recipes mm -hmm. using vegetables. Yes. And I mean, these can be accessed on the Sasco Flower website. website. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're looking for something totally different, that's the way to go. Check it out there. Saskoflower.co.za. Now, don't worry. I mean, you're looking at them and they look like little mountains. They will go flat when they okay. are in the oven <laughs> and they will look like cookies at the end of the day. Okay. And then we're just going to put them in the preheated oven yes. at 180 degrees mm -hmm. for around 15 minutes. Okay, you put that down. I'm going to get myself a mitt because I don't want to be burning myself. All right. Yeah, no, let me, let me do it. I'm, I'm okay. helpful. I'm helpful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. And they go straight into a 180 degree 
oven. So those go in there. And just by the way, if you just tuned in to get the ingredients to this recipe we just made, the courgette choc chip recipe, uh, all you have to do is uh, SMS the keyword SASCO to 33728. We've also got the great giveaway to the value of 4,500 Rand consisting of lots of SASCO goodies. There's a Carol Boy's sugar spoon. There's a Kenwood K-Mix mixer, also the value of 4,500 Rand, like I said. Uh, all you have to do is uh, SMS the keyword SASCO, your name and your city, to 33728. Now, we do have ready-made courgette chop chip cookies and here they are we pull them out over here lovely and this is what they look like after you've spooned them on and they've kind of settled down into their little flatness and that's what they look like wow interesting little treats yeah very different deliciously different that's what they are yeah then you just leave them to cool for about five to ten minutes then after that you just yeah so that we don't burn ourselves because we haven't cooled them Yes, there we Basically go. Basically, use your lifter. Alrighty. To remove them. Just like that. Very, very Just easy. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And like uh, Sis Dumi said, if you want to get all those deliciously different recipes, go on to saskoflower.co.za. But do try this recipe at home and let us know what you think. It looks rather delicious. Yeah. Sasco, share the goodness. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.